Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we will understand weighing the observation, period weights and cross section weights in AVUs. Panel data models can have a problem of heteroscedacity and correlation between errors both in cross section as well as a time effect. If time period t is sought, then we don't need to worry about the heteroscedacity over time and serial correlation. But if it is long, it is a method, it is a matter to worry. What are the remedies available? If use does not weigh observation input cold estimation by default, but we are having the option of weighing in GLS models. This weighing options involve alternative GS models for heteroscedacity and cross-sectional autocorrelation. The difference between OLS and GLS lies in the assumption of error. If we are using any transformation to normalize the error in our equation, the ordinary least square is now known as a generalized least square method. EVUs will estimate a feasible GLS specification assuming the presence of cross-section heteroscedacity. There are three options available. First, no weighing, all observations are given equal weights. Second, cross-section weights that is GLS using estimated cross-section residual variances and SUR, SUR, seemingly unrelated, unrelated regression GLS using estimated cross-section residual covariance matrix. Guidelines for weighing the observations. Determine how to determine which GLS weights to be used. If the time period is greater than 2, 2 into N, that is number of cross-section units, use cross-section SUR, seemingly unrelated regression. If T is greater than N, use cross-section weights. If T is less than N, use period weights. If T is half of N, use period seemingly unrelated regressions. If N is greater than T, add period fix effects first. If T is greater than N, add cross section fix effects first. After you add the first set of fix effects, compare the squash criterion with fix effects to the squash criterion without the fix effects. If the criterion is lower with the fixed effects, then keep them. If higher, do not keep them. Note this. When you include cross-section fixed effects, you cannot have any variables that are same over time for each cross-sectional unit. For example, race and gender variables do not change over time for a given person. Therefore, they cannot be included in an equation with a cross-section fixed effects. When you include pre period fixed effects, you cannot have any variables that are small, same for all cross-sectional units for each time unit. For example, the variable year would be the same for all cross-section units for a given year and thus cannot be included in any equation with the period fixed effects. Now how to run this? Let's see in views. I request to all my viewers that kindly refer my previous videos to understand the flow of entire series. I have uploaded many videos which are related to the panel data regression using EViews. To give the effect of weighing the observation, you will go in quick estimate equation. You will specify the dependent variable y, c, x2, x3. You will go in panel options. In GLS weights, you will activate the cross section weights. Click OK. Now, please note down that this p-value should be less than 0 0.05. Then we can say that these variables are significantly contributing to the dependent variable. This is the way we have included the period effects in our panel data. Again, I go here, panel options. And now, if I want to include the period weights, this was for cross-section. And if I want to have include the period weights, so I'll click on period weights, click OK. And now these are the estimates for period weights. For more, day, for more videos on panel data regression using EVUs, e kindly refer to my playlist. I have already uploaded many videos. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel and press the like button. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.